What's up guys back with another episode and if you're just finding out today was the Apple event at the Steve Jobs Theater and I'm going to bring you through all my impressions and all the new tech in Apple's arsenal in five or actually in seven minutes or less. Let's get started. So Apple has introduced a new Apple Watch that has an heart sensor in it and also has many other different kinds of, of tech but one of them is the heart sensor that's not only just physical which can tell your pulse but also can give you an EKG or ECG electrocardiogram so basically what happens is that's gonna be able to tell you if your heart is beating abnormally or it'll be able to help you find out if you have AFib or atrial fibrillation which means that your heart is beating at a regular pace. They will be coming out at uh, the three will be coming back at 279, the four at 399, and the cellular one for 499, and that will be able to be uh, purchased on the 21st of September. Uh, they will be coming out with colors silver, gold, gray, gold, and a stainless gold, and some other. Uh, formats now going back there was no ipad released in this um event so that's an interesting thing so the iphones uh the they released three iphones not just two but we kind of had rumors about a low a price iphone it wasn't quite as low as the price as i thought but let's discuss the main two the um flagships so the XS or the 10S and the 10S Max or XS Max. The XS or the 10S has 5.8 inch screen, 2.7 million pixels, which makes it Retina. At the A12 Bionics chip, um, and basically that's all that makes it um, normal. That's all that makes it special. Um, it has 30 minutes more battery life than the last generation or the 10, and for and comes out at a price of $999 or $1,000. The XS Max has a 6.5 inch screen, 3.3 million um, pixels, which is about one and a half times 1080p or full HD. A12 Binox chip, AR, they're coming up with a feature game, Betsaida's Elder Scroll Blade, Blades, I believe. Uh, Core ML or machine learning, they have some new apps uh, for helping you improve in basketball called home court shot science the back cameras are the same they have uh, 1.8 uh 1.8 apertures and the front one has 2.2 aperture the telephoto at the back has a 2.4 aperture they will have a new sim technology i was expecting dual sim because of the rumors but it turns out that they're only going to be making dual sim on the cameras on the in the chinese versions of the iphone for the American versions or the regular normal country versions, they're going to be making a single SIM that's electronic and then they'll also have a secondary slot for SIM cards as well as a new kind of software which allows you to use both SIMs at once in the same operating system to switch back and forth between calls and numbers. So that's interesting. For the XS Max, they have 90 minutes more battery life than the, the iPhone 10, so that's going to be quite impressive. And they're building, they, they're using completely 100% renewable energy. They are trying to make their phones last longer. Uh, recycled, uh, they use recycled tin in their PCB, which is about 10,000 tons of um, savings in this year. iOS 12 is coming out soon. And they're also going to start this program called Apple Give Back, which is uh, if they're usable that, and they can be sent to a new user, basically they'll give you the cost of the device in its current value. And also, if it doesn't work, they will recycle it for free. Now comes the last item. So the last item is basically the phone that we've all been wondering about, and it's called the XR or the 10R. So it, it doesn't use OLED like the previous versions. It uses LCD. Uh, they're now coin, coining it liquid retina. And basically what happened is that it has 1.4 million pixels, which is about 720p or 
or a little above 720p they have haptic uh touch not haptic feedback haptic touch which is a total different thing than um uh 3d touch uh rather and basically it allows you to press on items and then they open kind of like what you see on android phones nothing special there 12 megapixel back cam um there's a single camera but it still has portrait mode um so androids basically they're doing that and also it'll have 90 minutes of battery life more than the 10 or sorry than the 8 plus so i was saying that they said that this uh, camera i mean this lcd or liquid crystal display technology also according to liquid retina has a 120 hertz refresh rate kind of and basically it was supposedly revolutionary and groundbreaking but i was saying that more than likely samsung's making that panel as well using their new micro led technology which is supposed to come out with in televisions and i was confirmed when bloomberg in 2008 march of 2018 said that it was reported that apple has about 300 engineers devoted to in-house development of micro led screens and since they either have micro leds on their unless they're going to put oleds in their new um uh macbooks or um uh what are those things called max imax or their phones they're basically gonna have to use a technology that's accurate but also is cheaper so micro led is probably what they were using so more than likely they got samsung to manufacture it again so this has been seven minutes or less apple uh, impressions i hope you guys enjoyed it and these are the updates that were basically important so if you liked it like it share it comment subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow when i do the live stream